All right, music fans, welcome back. It's Dave, the real music observer, observing real music in real time for real people, just like you right there, just like me right here. The unfortunate retirement of former Kansas vocalist Steve Walsh. Now, I'm not sure if it's been posted anywhere, talked about anywhere, but um, the fact that I'm kind of in with Jerome Mazza a little bit and know him, and I know uh, he has tried to coax Steve Walsh to possibly record some more. Last year, they came out with this incredible album called Black Butterfly featuring both men uh, alternating on different tracks. And the first song, which was an absolute barn burner, blow the doors off of your Chevy Malibu, 70s souped up version of the Chevy Malibu, uh, and or maybe a Chevelle. The Chevelle would be even more intense. Those doors just blowing right off. Um, a tune called Born in Fire, which featured a very clever duet where one guy would sing, the other guy would pick up where the other guy left off, and it was seamless. You could almost not tell who was who. Um, one thing about Steve Walsh, which is absolutely amazing, is even though his voice has gotten a little rougher, uh, his throat is probably a little worn, uh, I can tell you this, he still climbs the ladder uh, as far as hitting those notes. And he hit high notes on this album, which a lot of guys his age can't do. They just shy away or they write something that they can sing. Uh, a lot of people have been talking about Steve Perry lately. Uh, Steve sounds good. Uh, his voice has changed, and he doesn't uh, go up the ladder too high. Uh, Steve Walsh uh, can still sing uh, virtually any of those notes. Uh, he performed at a local place not too far from me, a casino, and uh, as part of the Rock Pack a couple of years ago. And they did carry on Wayward Son and in the original key, uh, and uh, Walsh nailed it. Uh, Born in Fire was one of several really terrific tracks that uh, Walsh left us with. In fact, the entire album was like a coaxing from the record label to say, hey, please, Steve, one more. And, um, you know, he doesn't perform every track. Jerome Mazza is on this album, and he does a fine job at uh, continuing the Steve Walsh tradition. Uh, there's a tune that's still getting some airplay overseas. It's called The Piper. I would highly recommend listening to that. Uh, very modern, but still rooted in the Kansas tradition, uh, the Steve Walsh tradition. Uh, it's just a shame that Walsh has kind of hung up the microphone because he gave us some of the greatest classic rock in history. Um, those Kansas albums where he sang are just, you know, amazing, breathtaking, awe-inspiring, uh, vocalist-inspiring. If you're a, an up-and-coming singer and you just want to hear vocal excellence, uh, Steve Walsh in his prime, uh, that tenor is just really hard to imitate, and it's something that we'll never probably hear again to that level. I mean, he is a phenomenal vocalist even today, even though his voice has certainly changed a bit. He's still able to sing the high notes. So in case folks didn't know, Kansas fans and classic rock fans, uh, Kansas, of course, has a different singer now. And uh, Walsh left voluntarily a few years back. Uh, not sure, just probably tired of the road and so forth. Maybe he didn't think he sounded all that good, but um, he's still just a monster vocalist, and we wish him well. We wish him a happy retirement, and maybe, just maybe, he'll get the bug one more time and want to come back out and maybe do another album with Jerome Mazza or with the group Pinnacle Point. Love to hear his vocals on a track or two on that project because that is right up the old Kansas alley. All right, done with this one. Be back with more soon. Stay tuned.